everyone. I'm May from the Global Partnership for Improving the Food Cold Chain in the Philippines Project. We are now here in Testa, Taguig City, in front of the Cold Chain Innovation Hub. And we are excited to show you a technology showcase featuring sustainable, energy efficient, and climate friendly cold chain technologies. So come, let's take a look. Hello everyone, uh, this is Jan from Atmosphere. Welcome again to the Coach Innovation Hub in the Philippines. Over the last two years, we have secured more than 30 contributions from the international community. So today we would like to give you an idea what kind of technologies can be found here at the Hub. And of course, we welcome everyone to come and experience these technologies and learn more. The first CO2 transcritical system that has been fully installed here at the Hub is supplied by Nihon Etsigen Systems from Japan. The gas coolers and evaporators are from Guntner. Both of these companies are Atmo approved, the best in class manufacturers in the world. There are two evaporators uh, linked to the system. One of them is actually configured to provide air conditioning to this whole space, so which is quite unique. Another of the evaporators is located inside of the cold room that we will show you right now. I'm not sure if you can see, there is actually steam coming out of my mouth. We are inside of the cold room that has been built uh, for the CO2 training rack lo located just outside. This evaporator can actually provide uh, cooling for a fairly large 500 pallet position uh, cold room. We are very proud to have this for many people in the Filipino industry. This was the first time they could actually see the CO2 running system uh, here in the country and have this hands-on experience. Every refrigeration system needs uh, refrigerant, the gas itself. And when we came to the Philippines four years ago, there was no experience, no availability of the CO2 technology component or refrigerant. Here we are uh, with the CO2 that was provided by Iwatani, a Japanese manufacturer of the R290 uh, and uh, R744 gases, their contribution. So we now have plenty of gas to power all the CO2 technology here at the hub. Transportation has been identified as one of the bottlenecks when it comes to food cold chain sectors in the Philippines. And I'm proud to say that we have also showcased uh, a refrigerated transport uh, solutions. In this case, we are uh, using R290 uh, cooling unit from PBX manufactured in Europe. And the refrigerated truck was procured and uh, assembled, including the, the body of the refrigerated truck here local in the Philippines. When it comes to solutions for transport refrigeration, this is an example of contribution from Carrier Transicold, uh, the natural line, their CO2 transcritical line for the reefers, containers. So we have one of these units here at the hub for last uh, year and a half. So first CO2 transcritical reefer in Philippines here at the hub. Here at the Coaching Innovation Hub, we have also a number of solutions for the food retail. Uh, behind me you can see the CO2 condensing unit, uh, two horsepower condensing unit uh, from Panasonic as well as the showcase, CO2 showcase provided by Hussman. Second of the Panasonic CO2 condensing uh, units uh, has been actually installed here and this time it's powering this cold room that was assembled locally. So the same condensing unit can be also deployed for small cold rooms for restaurants as well as retail operators. Another example of the food retail solutions is behind me. In this case, uh, showcases contributed from AHT. And this is the first configuration uh, so-called water loop system, hydro loop system, that is rejecting the heat from the plug-in R290 cabinets uh, outside of the building where uh, the dry cooler uh, pump station is located. R290 and isobutane hydrocarbons have been used for uh, chest freezers as well as uh, vertical cabinets. In this case, we have a contribution from EPTA, uh, two cabinets that have been donated and contributed to the project and are here at the hub. This is our first installation completed at the hub uh, around two years ago. This is a solar powered freezer, chest freezer. The chest freezer itself is provided by Westfrost from Denmark and the solar system was actually uh, assembled and uh, provided locally. So this is a fully solar uh, powered system. The solar panels are outside. There's batteries that power this. It's isobutane, natural refrigerant isobutane, uh, R600A. And the freezer is fully functional. Now I'm actually inside one of the chillers that have been locally assembled here in Philippines. 
The cooling unit uh, that you can see above me is from Embraco, uh, shipped from Brazil. It's using R290 propane refrigerant. Very exciting piece of technology, can be locally assembled uh, and good fit for the post-harvest and smaller facilities. Hi, I'm Manuel Azucena. I am the technical coordinator of uh, Cold Chain Innovation Hub. And at the same time, I am also in charge of the training. Aside from the equipment that we receive from international manufacturers, we also receive tools and instruments from one of our partners, the Magic Air. Uh, we receive the instruments like the leak detectors for R290 and leak detectors for CO2. We have used this instrument for the trainings that we conducted. Actually, we conducted several trainings. But aside from this, we also use the basic tools in servicing and operation and monitoring of our equipment here at the CCI Hub. Hello, I'm Hilda Garibay, the project lead of the Global Partnership for Improving the Food Cold Chain in the Philippines. Come and visit CCI Hub where you can learn more about new sustainable cold chain solution here at TESDA. We thank TESDA for making it more possible, to make it more sustainable since they develop or upgrade their curriculum for these new technologies available now in the market, again, through the CCI Hub. Over the past three years, the project accomplished many milestones. The CCI Hub was able to conduct many workshops, trainings, and conferences where it linked industry both internationally and locally. As we move forward to the next chapter, we are eager to see Tesla's leadership in continuing what the CCI Hub has started, especially with the upgraded curriculum for refrigeration technicians. So come and see for yourself this amazing technology showcase here at the Code Chain Innovation Hub, and we invite you to be part of this amazing community of end users, industry leaders, policy makers, and technicians. See you at the Code Chain Innovation Hub!